Hi darlings, I hope you're all all right and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. As you can see, a little bit of an impromptu video. Um, I'm all ready for bed because I've got to be up at uh, 2.45 in the morning because I'm on, they've given me an early shift. <laughs> um, I'm not, there's no face on or anything like that. I apologise. I'm sat here in pyjamas, but I just could not go to bed without uh, putting it out there, my point of view, with all that's gone on with Foodie Beauty. Um, I watched uh, the video that she put out, a uh, live stream, and it was called, and I've got it written down here, because uh, you know what I'm like for forgetting. Okay, who do I need to block? In which she, well, it was more of a response video, to be honest, response live stream to all the backlash that she's been receiving since little Timbit died. You know, um, Pete's, his cat, um, bless her, she was 17 years old. And she collapsed and they'd rushed her to the vet. And the, in the vet's opinion, it was better for them to uh, put her to sleep because she was very, very ill. Uh, Pete's, of course, is devastated, as you are, as I was earlier this year when we lost Mr Pickles, who was 16. So a little bit younger. But, you know, animals, pets, they become part of your life. Um my pets are like my children you know and it was horrific for me so i know how pete feels it's um it's so very sad and you know pete's been the way he is i mean of course nobody knows for sure but i suspect my opinion is that um he probably is somewhere on the spectrum you know um I find him very similar in a lot of ways with my son. And if you are on the spectrum, or if you've got anybody in your family in the spectrum, it can be very hard for them to process their feelings, uh, show their emotions, or, knew, or know how to deal with them. So they really do need, at times of high stress and trauma, they do need the comfort of friends and family around them to help them cope. And she said, Foodie Beauty, uh, when she posted and broke the terrible news, that she was going to stay with him for the, for the afternoon, for the evening, and take care of him and, and be supportive. She posted that. And then, some hours later, she's posting pictures of food, which I'm assuming the old Romeo had uh, done for her because you see on the evening she left Pete's and she went over to his house because I quote she wanted some um, time away she wanted some space she wanted some time to herself because apparently she's also agreed she's also grieving you see so with her you know um, not having to take into consideration anybody else's feelings because she's not responsible for anybody else's feelings, you see. She's only responsible for her own. So she did what was right and she thought of herself and she pissed off to Romeo's house. And she's there puffing away with him in bed, remonstrating with the audience and telling everybody what a nasty piece of work they are because they shouldn't be having a go at her. It's not her fault. And that if Pete needs her, he knows where the phone is and she'll go straight over to him and, and, and help him with whatever he wants. I'm absolutely appalled. If you ever wanted a prime example of selfishness, thoughtlessness and just downright nasty piece of workness, then this video is, is a prime example. Exhibit A. I've written a few things down because I wanted to make some points. And, you know, that she was really mad that people were accusing her of being a shitty friend to Pete's. Tough titty, lovey. People are speaking the truth. Now, I know that a lot of people in her audience, her enablers, were, to, were, were backing her up and trying to make her feel, um, feel better, you know, about what other people were saying. But they're your enablers. They're not like normal people they probably um 
are very much similar to you, you see, because that's why they watch you, you see, because whilst they're enabling you, you enable them. So they're cut from the same cloth as you. She said, uh, oh, well, maybe he wants to be alone. Now, the English language is very specific. We've got a lot of words in our language. Maybe he wants to be alone. That infers to me that you haven't bloody asked him. You haven't asked that lad if he wants you to stay. And even if you did, you know as well as I do, he's ever so passive. He'd say yes to you for anything. Oh, Pete, can I chop your head off with this big sword? Oh, go on then, because that's the sort of bloke he is. He's not going to inopportune you. He's not going to say to you, well, actually, it would really help me. Even if I am in bed asleep, the fact that you're in the building would, would, would help me. Now, he's not going to say that to you because he doesn't ask anything of you. That's why you, you're friends with him, because he's passive. He's an enabler. Maybe infers to me that that you didn't, you don't even know that for a fact. You didn't bloody well ask him. You let him go off to bed and you're out that front door like a bullet out of a gun. I'm really sorry, my mouth is so dry. Because I'm spitting feathers here, I tell you. She was also mad that even members who she apparently she thinks are her friends. No, they're not your friends, my love. They're members. They're members, they're enablers, they're not your friends, they're not your buddies. Because if they were, they wouldn't let you get away with half of what you do. Because you see, the definition of a friend is not somebody that agrees with you on everything. The best sort of friends, a true friend is the person that will stand in front of you and say, Oi, you're being a git, stop doing it, that's wrong, you've said this, you've done that, they're wrong, you shouldn't be doing it. The best sort of friends are the ones that will disagree with you as much as they'll agree with you. So she was um, in a mood with all the members as well. And she was, you know, um, telling them, oh, well, you know, if you don't like it, you know, you know what to do and all the rest of it. So that's, that's how much she thinks of her audience. She just, she just, she just baffles me. I just, you know, you just, you're watching it and you can't stop yourself from watching it because as we've said on numerous occasions, it's car crash, car crash, uh, bloody uh, TV. But, you know, you, you have to keep pausing it sometimes to think, to yourself, I'm, is she is she real? Is this, you know, is this like a, a sitcom, sitcom on TV? Is she an actress? Is it, is, has somebody written this script for her because you just can't believe the words that are coming out of the mouth. And what else should she say that I just wanted to make mention of? Um, her, whole, her whole demeanour was feeling sorry for herself. This is, I think this is what blew my mind. And this is what got me so aerated. Like anybody, I myself, I, I at times berate myself i think sometimes we are all our own worst enemy in that you know you get these thoughts in your head and you 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 know you 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 have a go at yourself you know oh i've done this wrong i've done the other wrong um i'm not very good at this i've not done that we we flog ourselves don't we we, we have a go at ourselves she doesn't she has the opposite from the rest of the human bloody race. She, she's she got no ability to look at self. There's no self-reflection there at all. Anybody else would have known that what Pete needed was for her to stay in that apartment. I wonder sometimes if she's not on the spectrum because she doesn't seem to be able to pick up on the social niceties of life. She doesn't pick up on people's body language or facial expressions or tone or there's, there's no instinct, you know, like human instinct to 
you can feel the vibes, you can read the room, you can read people without them saying things, you just know these things about them. She doesn't seem to have any concept of that. There's no um, social nicety about her at all. There's no um, decorum. Anybody would have known that what she needed to do is to put her own feelings aside for this one time and stay with that lad in that apartment. A fool wouldn't have known, a fool would have known that. But she didn't. Because she's all about herself. And if that's what she looks like when she's grieving, well, God help her. She's not grieving anybody. She doesn't give tuppence eight me. What she wanted to do was, she wanted to go that evening to old Romeo's house. And not even that lad needing her because his beloved pet had passed away was going to stop her. And like I said earlier, as soon as that lad went to bed, she was out that door like weasel shit off a shovel round old Romeo's house. And because other people have had the temerity to pick her up on it, that's why she's angry. That's why she's upset. I've never known anyone like it in my life. Well, I do, I do, I know one person, but we won't talk about him. But she's just, she hasn't got a thought or feeling in her body for anyone else by herself. I, I just don't get it. And on all these people all in her chat telling her, oh, don't worry about it. They don't understand, you know, supporting her. Well, all I can say is like, you must be cut of the same cloth as her. I didn't know there was that many uncaring, selfish people in the world. And it was really upsetting. And for any of those of you that also have pets like me, I'm sure that you were equally as upset. To think that that poor lad, asleep or not in his bedroom, don't matter. He's on his own when he needed her the most. And when she needs somebody, and she will, something will happen in the future. Look who she's bloody going out with. I hope that he turns around and he says to her, well, I had something planned, so I'm sorry. I won't be able to help you with that. I won't be able to be here and supportive of you because I, I had something else to do. Anyway, I've, I've got to go because I've got to get to bed. It's gone eight o'clock now. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. I'm sorry I look like a bloody, I don't know what. But um, take care of yourselves. I love you loads, you know. See you later. Bye.